Sloth here still can't fly and today I'm gonna give you a heads up before I say the title of this game okay I am an uncultured very white American so please forgive me for what I'm about to say today we are playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc I do not watch anime I yeah so the reason why I know this game is because I watched Game Grumps play it. Unfortunately, I played it all. I watched them all the way up till the first situation gets figured out. So I know the first puzzle. You know what I mean? But that's okay because I don't know the rest. And also, it's it looks like it looks cool. I love murder mysteries. So this is gonna go well. <laughs> all right, let's start. Up, oh, start. There we go. Uh, English, please. Uh, I guess I'll go kind. Oh. Hello, bear. What even? Blast off, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am more than confused. But... It works itself out eventually, right? <laughs> Yeah, that... Yep. Very interesting. Oh! Is it Dongang Rompa? Is it? The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. Wow. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends a cream of the crop mm, into the workforce every year. It is built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you are scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the school filled with all the students is your dumbass. Yep, <laughs> it's me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I'm going to try to mimic all these voices, by the way. As you can see, I can't do it. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Swell! I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or immune or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, it all just be whatever was popular at the particular moment. I am dull as rocks. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your your everyday hero type. I notice who I am. Anyway, I figure it's a good, always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I say a little more gun ho than other people. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive a place like this. Wow, I'm just full of charm. I got this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Host Peak, oh, that's harder to read. Host Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. 
Such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And I saw what was talking about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who also lead, who's also lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Very nice. And there's the ultimate fashionista. Wow. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. I really hope not. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. That's so specific. The scary thing is, he is the facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there is the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, mm, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. I mean, that made me realize how totally powerless I was, because I'm a negative Nancy. It was the it was the country's finest, top to bottom. Bottom. Shoot. I feel like a tame little house cat who wandered into Pride of Lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were new few since I couldn't find info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. I am the cream of the crop of ruining parties. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to become this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. Is it just take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why? Then why are you questioning it? We recently held we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to turn our school. As a result, you've been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day and got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I agree. I wish I knew that I was going to be perfectly set. Then, actually staying in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I couldn't, I couldn't feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring myself, I looked down the acceptance letter, clutched my hand, and it said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at AM. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Oh my god, I'm a talkative type! Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Ugh. I gathered up all my deter determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Where? The meeting doesn't start until 8, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense no one else will be here yet. So, I was so wound up I got here way too early. So, no, I would do the same. I'm always early to being early, so I know it can't be late. Even then, I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be late. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around and waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around, right? Help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, it's my first step into Hope Street Academy. It's also my first step towards my new, new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Ah. What the? LSD! But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It's like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then I was washed in the washing machine. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began. And how life I knew, it became to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak County wasn't because of ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Spare! Prologue. Woo! Has a lot of dialogue. Uh, yes! 
Hmm. I have so many choices. Oh my god. Wait, how far does this go? Okay, I'm just gonna go back. <laughs> Is there a faster way to... Sp I, I regret scrolling it. Okay. Sure. Nuh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... but was the, what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? God, everything popping around. Welcome to Hope Street County. First, click the expanded basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. The main object you interact with, you can press the left mouse. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WAS to adjust your view. Or press. Okay. I'm looking around the classroom. I looked! Is that a surveillance camera? It's dangerous. It's a dangerous world we live in. Yeah. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I still see a lion drool I must have left there. Nice. I'll have to clean that up later. It's on the desk. Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide. So we got a cheap looking pamphlet. There's something written on it. Oh, I read this. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Um. Oh. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that would be where our window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock it on it. Yep, definitely metal. Wow! Solid metal, huh? Wait, that's all that matters here. Why are there metal plates over the windows? Is there anything else here? Oh. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. I was just after someone I forgot. First guy here. Has there really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might happen is, I got myself up so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. Does someone care me here? That's true. That must mean, this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Oh my god. But then, if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all very strange. I mean, those metal plates come in the windows. It's like the prison or something. That makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meantime. There might be other students there now. R, okay. I'm kind of smooth-brained here, aren't I? There's a TV. School is funded by national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something goes off. I don't wonder what it is. Oh, sure. Jeez, it's always kind of weird, too. It's getting stranger by the second. I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the bluff to move the ball. We'll shift the run. Tap his map. Close. Okay. I do like the art style. What's this? Room won't budge. Okay. Doors locked tight. Okay. A spare hotel. All right. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. I wonder where this red door leads. It's starting to feel sick standing here. All right, fair, that's fair enough. Uh, but no, I do like the art style going on here and just the, the question mark flying there. Avery room, it's locked. So where am I going? Main hall. Is this the main hall? I guess it is. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey, another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. For a school? Probably not. There's so many kids in the school. 
Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered the here, there, shoot, taking in all their faces at one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel an aura coming from each of them. Everyone has an aura. Uh, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm trying. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Huh? You too? Hmm. Hmm. Things just get getting curious, sir. Curi oh, shoot! Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Mm hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Got it! Okay. Just a moment. There's something else we must be addressed. I am so sorry, everybody. I am gonna honestly try this. Listen to me! Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you've been aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp! To be late on your- oh, to be late on your first day is, is unspeakable! I will support you! You must accept your due punishment! What? What? What is your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! That's right! Okay. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? Huh? The hell? Now's not time for our friggin' instructions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of people. Maybe, but maybe it's good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. I, I need a drink to do this. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a good point. Um. Um. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good as chance as I'm going to get. I looked everyone up on Hoshi Academy Thread Online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Tell us start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the students, press light. Okay. Each conversation is important to story keep track. Okay. All right, time to do this. Uh, Tubbs. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. The ultimate fanfic creator. Hi, Hifumi mm -hmm. Yamada. Okay. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> Oh god. Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. The um the things that sit on your face for glasses, those look like his pupils. It looks like he's cross-eyed. Mm -hmm. I once sold ten thousand copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed in the legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd be tainted. I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies is like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... This is about Sonic? The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, I think, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? I don't want to ask that question. Yes, it's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <coughs> oh my god. That voice hurts. This guy looks cool though. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Okay, I can do this one. The ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their clean-up hitter, built a baseball star, before he shaved his head. That superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Like... What? Were you expecting some kind of kid with a shaved head? Sh shaved head? I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? 
it's it's not cool. It is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that's part of a national championship regulation. Please, seriously? I mean, now I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Hey, actually, I can be totally honest with you. No. I don't like baseball, like at all. I never gone to a single practice. He never practiced and he's still a team star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Like an ultimate guy. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> and as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> and my only path line is getting to music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're our set. I, I know I keep changing his voice because I keep forgetting. I gotta think of like Sonic, but not as hey. How cool is that? This is a new version of me that's chasing my dream. After my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I hear something from that from a baseball all-star. Hey, even if you're good at something, doesn't mean you like to do it. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna be so bad. Ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. The pleasant sound I can't quite place. Okay. So I am Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread line, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous for all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's the only reason why I was so surprised to find out she's been going to school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know? I'm alive! Huh? Did you hear me? Um... Uh, um... I'm sidekick. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. I have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, um... Any... By any chance... But now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm pretty sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did you just hold on? Just hold on here. <laughs> I'm trying to mimic his voice. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time on this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, uh, sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions for introducing yourself. Not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, because I'm starting to lose my voice already. It's not like Sokka is really it's something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Not that you'll remember my new name anyway, but... I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Okay. Ultimate Riding Prodigy. This character I don't like that much, actually. Uh, when I was watching Game Grumps, I didn't like her that much. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 and got everyone talking and launched her literary career. The tears that she released so lingers the ocean and love story is said to be her masterpiece. But we get such a hit with the woman that fishermen quickly shot to tell every hottest men pull. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else could you call such a young and talented author? I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with her masterpiece from romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? Well, well, it's not... It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. I just thought you'd never see such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! N don't bother me trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... What? Whatever. I really don't care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. That was way off of what a successful author would be like. I'm not much of a charm myself. Alright. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I'm actually kind of lightheaded. Not gonna lie. The ultimate moral compass. So that's... Oh no. Kayata... 
Oh, he literally just said the name too. So that's Kiyotaka. Uh, Kiyo According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and he won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects roles above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Because that would be a lot easier for me, a very uncultured man, to say. You say your name is Mak Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> Aha, that's a good name. Such a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life's worth putting every ounce of effort in it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. Okay, so now to talk to those five people over there. Okay. I'm probably going to actually go ahead. Can I save here? Oh my god, can I not save? Oh. Holy cow, it's one of the huge metal hatch. It looks like the kind of thing you'd seen a secret military base or something. This is the same meeting hall. Okay. So can I not save? Uh. Well, I'm gonna end here, guys, and get a drink. I need, I need nourishment. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like, subscribe, and as always, stay slothy. Bye!